What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another banger of a video today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Speed Boost Blaziken alongside with a Weakness Policy Glaciary team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. You guys seriously rock. It is insane. But rocking out in our front spot, top left corner, we're getting started with Blaziken right here. Heart and Soul of this team. We got the Life Orb on it the speed boost ability so at the end of every single turn we get plus one speed and we got two stab moves of close combat and flare blitz brave bird for coverage and max air stream to give us that speed boost once again and protect to the right of it we got jelly sent over here which is our trick room user slash trick room counter user with water spout shadow ball strength stab the lower physical attack and gain some hp back and trick room also has the ability of water absorb and the key berry behind my face cam is an amazing ultra beast rock and poison type we got nihilego over here beast boost ability power herb so we can actually use meter Meteor Beam in one turn, we get that special attack boost and major damage right there. Sludge Bomb also for stab and Power Gem for our normal stab rock damage move. Right next to Nihilego is Tokus over here and everybody loves Tokus. Everybody loves Tokus. This thing's got the Wakam Berry, the Serene Grace, the Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Protect, pretty normal moveset for it. Bottom left corner, we got Big Boy Ferrothorn over here with Iron Barbs and Leftovers. Body Press, Iron Defense to boost the defense and make Body Press actually do more damage. Leech Seed the Pester and get some HP and just stall out the match and Protect as our final move. And then in the final spot, spot is another hard hitting Pokemon which is Glaciary over here with Chilling Nay ability, Weakness Policy and then fairly normal move set of icicle spear for stab two coverage moves with high horsepower and close combat and then protect as its final move guys you want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this team Going up against a fairly strong team for battle number one. This guy's got Metagross, Grimmsnarl, Entei, Zapdos, Tapu Fini, and Rollboom. But before we do even start this video, I kind of want to go over a little bit of a channel update or just let you guys know what's going on for the holidays. So as you guys know, Super Mario Sunshine playthrough is complete. So I will be starting Pikmin 3 Deluxe playthrough very, very soon and a Pokemon Nuzlocke coming to you. But this Pokemon content will still be here. Online battles will probably be on the channel for a good bit. So just, uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up there. But who should we actually leave? Who should we actually lead? I kind of want to go into Nihilego. I don't feel like that would be too bad. He has no Tailwind users. I mean, unless Zapdos can go Tailwind, but Nihilego can just dump on a Zapdos, no problem. But I think I'm going to lead him with that Power Herb. And I might just lead the Blaziken. I don't think we need Trick Room. I really don't think we need Trick Room here. I think we just go with our, our Speedy Squad. We kind of just roll out there. Uh, we bring Ferrothorn and Tokus. I think that's play. I think, I think we can roll out like that. I think we can roll out pretty strong with this team. What do we bring Glacier as like a final end Pokemon? Hmm. Could bring Glacier over uh over Ferrothorn. It's either Ferrothorn or Glacier. I think Glacier will actually do a little bit better here. Yeah, let's get Glacier over here. Let's get rocking here. But also, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know we got the holidays, Christmas coming around, and from the 21st to the 23rd, I will be out of town. So maybe I'll have some videos uploaded, or at least one or two, while I'm away. And then like New Year's Eve, I'm gonna be busy, or not New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve, I'm gonna be busy, and Christmas as well. So if uploads are a little slow during that week, that that is why I'll be out of town for the beginning of it, and then we got Christmas Eve and Christmas going on. But I'm still gonna try to have some videos ready for you guys and uh, get rolling with that. But first battle. It's on its way. This guy's got Entei and Grimstarl for the lead. And is he is that a screen Grimstarl? Could potentially be a screen screen Grimstarl. I might just meteor beam. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna meteor beam over on the Entei slot. And then I think I just protect Blaziken. Try to get that speed boost. He might try switching my item. And I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to do that. Actually, I might just Dynamax here. Start getting this attack boost. Because he will outspeed. 100 percent Do I get the attack boost or do I uh, set the heat? I said we get the attack boost. I think we just get the attack boost because I don't really see a big threat going on right now. But I, th I feel like we can just get that attack boost and start thriving from there. We're gonna speed boost as well. We can start out speeding and roll from there. But the only thing that I can see is Gripsaw really, really doing to us is just swapping an item for us or setting up a screen. That's the two options, which I'm totally fine with. The hell Lego should be able to dump on the uh, what's called no problem, the Entei, get a special attack boost, maybe two if it dumps on it. And Gripsaw is just gonna scary face us. Okay, that's fine. You can scary face. You can do that. Gonna drop my speed, right? Yeah, my speed harshly falls, and Boulder's gonna pop through. That's totally fine, and that does mean damage in the hill. I go mean, mean damage over on the hill. I go that were the speed of everybody on the field, which is totally fine because Blaziken is just gonna go back up to normal after this. And I'm just gonna max knuckle here, be able to take out or not take out Grimstar. Hopefully, can we? That'll be tough. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so close. There we go. We get the attack boost, so that's huge. And I'm just gonna airstream next turn to get speed boost. 
And then this meteor beam should just be able to absolutely dump on this Entei, no problem. Entei should be gone. We should go up plus two. It's pretty big. But then Nihiligo might not be able to get off another turn right after this. So if we go one for one, I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Big Jelly Boy coming out here. Let's get a Power Herb comes out here. Don't miss it. I had that happen before where I missed it after I Power Herb and all that. But yeah, this should be able to KO it. Get out of here, Entei. Get out of my face. Get him out of here. Get gone, kid. Beast Boost gonna proc. We're gonna go up another plus one on special attack. So Nihiligo poses a big threat right now. Even with this low HP, like, he needs to take it out. Speed Boost coming from Blaze I'm gonna Airstream next turn. Well, it actually depends who comes out, but I would like to Airstream. I would absolutely love to. He's gonna send out Zapdos. Okay. He's gonna send out Zapdos. I'm cool with that. And I don't think Zapdos outspeeds me. I do wanna go for a Power Gem here. I kind of want to go for a flare, but at the same time, I want to boost my speed. But, now nah, I'm just going to go for a flare here. I'm going to double up in his Zapdos slot, if we can get it. But I think Grip Snarl is just going to start scary facing around. He's going to reflect. Okay. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm kind of fine with that. T-Wave's going to pop here. No Lego is going to go down. That's fine. And Boyskin is going to start uh, setting the heat. I'm surprised Zapdos is faster than me. Actually, he won't be next turn, which is huge. Unless he's scary facing me, which, which is a potential thing. And he just showed he is, uh, he is what's called. But he's probably gonna die. He just showed his life for him. The boy skin just absolutely dumps on it. You'd love to see it. Okay, so he has one other Pokemon, which is probably gonna be his Dynamax Mon. I still have two in the back. And I think I'm gonna bring out Togekiss right now. I think I bring out Togekiss just for the sheer fact that I can just follow me. And keep my boy skin speed boost it. And, uh, plus one on the attack board. Do I have one more turn? Do I have one more? I don't think I have another turn. Do I? Do I have another turn? I do not. I don't know. I have one more turn. I have one more turn with uh, Boyskin in the Dynamax form, which is huge. Which is absolutely huge. Let's get Togi out here. He's going to send out Metagross. Okay, so... Oh my god, dude. We should be able to dump on Metagross. We should be thriving with this. We should be thriving with this. We should go for a follow me here. I should just be able to flare. We're plus two on speed. We're plus one. We're going to get stab boost, the life orb boost, the heat boost. Like, come on. We are thriving here. And the plus one attack boost. Bruh, let's go. Let's go. Blaziken coming up hot. But we do have to make up for the battles yesterday. If you guys haven't checked out the video, please do. Maybe drop a like. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. But those were some rough battles. Some really, really rough battles. Yesterday we went 0 3. So we're trying to make up for it here. This guy does not Dynamax and Metagross. I wonder what he does go for. He's going to go for a scary face. I wonder what he is actually trying to do. This Metagross is going to go down here. Then crack. That's pretty much game. That is going to be game. Next fire coming out here. Blaziken's just going to do a nice big sweep here. Nice big old sweep. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax. I think he still might have went down if he did Dynamax. Not too sure because this thing is pretty bulky and everybody knows that. But clean. Clean first match. Clean first match. We protect this Blaziken. Blaziken gets his speed boost. We get attack boost early on. We kind of just roll out there and do a lot of work. That was light work. I absolutely love Blaziken. I absolutely do. Even though Skeptile is my favorite one. Or my probably my favorite starter ever. I call it Skeptile. Everyone calls it Sceptile. They're like, oh, you're saying it wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Skeptile, boy. It's Skeptile. Nah, it's actually Sceptile, I think. But I call it Skeptile. <laughs> Start off this video with a big fat W. I'm happy for that one. We're hopping into our second battle. And we're going up against a tough one right here. This guy's got Comfy alongside with Moltres and Gujo. Two very, very strong combos. And then backhand Pokemon of Storm Drain, Gastron, Grim Snarl, and Urshfu. This one could be a very, very tough one for us. Um, so he can cancel out Trick Room with the Comfy. Um, he, I, don't, I don't believe he's going to set it, but I believe he'll cancel it out all day. I think I lead Jelly Send to pose that Trick Room threat and then not even go into Trick Room and have him potentially set it. That could be a hard read. That could be a very, very hard read. But we do need Trick Room. So I think I go. Do I lead Nihilego? I think Nihilego is just a good lead. Let's go Jelly Scent, Nihilego into Glacier and Ferrothorn. I kind of like that, but we need to get off Trick Room. Like, that's a fact. Like, Trick Room needs to get off. I love Nihil Lego as, a, as an Ultra Beast and a, on a, on the a team. But he's very, very good. He's, he's a nice lead. He can get off started with a big KO with Meteor Beam. He has solid speed. He hits like a truck. Like, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this Pokemon. He's such a good lead. But this one's going to be a tough battle. Like, I always struggle with the Confi combos. Always struggle with them. I could have actually led Ferrothorn. I could have led Ferrothorn and uh, Jelly Scent. But Jelly Scent is going to get our lead. I'm going to maybe try to uh, set off a trick room. I probably should have went follow me. But then Nihilego poses a threat. If, say he goes into a Compi and Moltres, I can get off either a trick room or a Meteor Beam over on the Moltres. And that, that is probably, uh, that's a better combo, I believe, than uh, Gudra and Compi. I think Glary and Moltres is like top tier in this uh, new meta. 
Let's see who you think. You were gonna go into. I don't know. Is this Moltres? Dang it, dude. Dang it, he goes Gudra. Alright. That's fair. We're gonna go Nihil Lego over on and Jelly Set. Uh, do I even try proc and Trick Room? Do I try getting Trick Room off? Or do I say he sets it? Like, I want to say he sets it, but at the same time. I don't. I think I go into a meteor beam get that get that boost up. That's what we get after his coffee. Let's see what he does. If he doesn't Dynamax Gudra, then, then we made a bad play. But like I said in the beginning, I was going to make the hard read of him going for a trick room. And I went back on it, so watch. He's going to do it now. And I and I went back on my call. And I shouldn't have. I should have trusted my gut, man. Come on, don't you dare trick him. Don't you do it. I know he's thinking about it. That's why he's taking his turn long. You're not going to do it. Okay, cool. He died next to I'm fine with that. As long as maybe my jelly scent eats up. He's going to go. He's going to proc policy. That's an obvious thing. He's going to proc policy, and he's going to go after my jelly scent. I'm gonna go away from my jelly son. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I need this trick room up. Let's see what he does. Comfy protects. I li I'm fine with that. And we still get that plus one. We still get that plus one boost from the hell I go. We still get that plus one boost. But he's probably gonna go down, go down next turn. Let's see what he does. We still get that plus one boost. This move should be able to hit through protects. Like this thing's a giant meteor beam of rocks coming through. But I still like that plus one. And he wasted my meteor beam, and the guy's just gonna come through one hill I go and just dump on him. Okay, that's fair. That's totally fine. I'm actually cool with that. We get off trick room. Um, the problem is gonna be this Confi's gonna probably try to set another trick room here, and I'm gonna get out Glacier, and I'm gonna be able to drop uh drop hail and stuff and things. So, the real question is, do I send another trick room? <laughs> that is the real question. I can see actually Gudra. Guard near. I can see Gujar guarding here, so I'm gonna go after his comfy, try to get rid of that. Get it. Get it, boy. Get it. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna water spout. Is this thing water? I don't know. We'll see. But I'm definitely Dynamaxing into a hailstorm. And I'm gonna get after this. Or do I boost my attack? Nah, I'm gonna just get after this. Is that Gucha? What is it? Water Absorb? He learns, uh, great Sap Sipper and Hydration. That's, no, not Hydration. He learns, uh, Water Absorb, I believe. But we'll see. I, I can see him guarding. I can see him guarding, but I really just want to make sure he's going to swap you out. Okay, you buttery biscuit. He's going to go into... Bum, 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 bum. You biscuit. You biscuit. Make me make me throw a water move here. But we're still dropping ice on this left side. It's not play by him. He's going to go plus one on that. Ah, this one's going to be go battle. This one's going to be a good one. I need Glacier out here. Hopefully he can maybe proc weakness policy. Hopefully he can. I can uh, start strength sapping if I really need HP, but let's see what he does. He might go for a ground move on my Glacier later. Let's see what happens here. But we're gonna go Hailstorm. We're gonna change up this weather. Not gonna do too too much damage overall to this uh, Gastron. Actually, it does. Jeez, man. Jeez! <laughs> a lot more than I thought it would. Love to see, baby. Buffets are gonna start popping out here. I'm surprised he didn't guard. Fires, he didn't guard, and Storm Drain is gonna come out from Gastro, and nothing's gonna happen. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. I oh, know it's still gonna hit. It's, okay, it's still gonna hit you. I'll take that. I'll take that. Better than nothing. Here comes a worm when he's gonna go minus one on the board and go after Jelly Belly. Hey, right, Jelly Belly, you're thriving here. So now we drop the ice onto Gudra. That thing's life orb, right? Here goes our key berry. And. We're gonna get a nice little defensive boost. And that thing is like, okay, okay, so we don't have to worry about the policy. We are minus one, though. Which kind of stinks. Kind of does stink. Now, who's slower, Gastro or. Who is slower, Gastro or Jelly? I wanna see Jelly's speed. Jelly might be uh, slower. I saw Ferrothorn in the back. Now, nah, Gastron's gonna be slower. Ferrothorn's slow as buns, dude. I'm just, we're still gonna, uh, still gonna Shadow Ball this thing. Yeah, we're still gonna Shadow Ball up on it. And then I'm just gonna drop a big hail over onto, onto you. I think it's a fine play. But he has plus one on special attack. I wonder what Gastron's gonna do. He's either gonna recover or take out my Jelly. Or he can go for a ground move. Or he can go for a ground move on my Glacier. I wouldn't mind that at all. Bring me back up to plus one. 
That'll be super effective. Proc on my policy, baby. Gonna withdraw you. That's totally fine. He's gonna go back out in the comfy, right? Yeah, here comes Comfy. Comfy, I'm getting sick of you. I'm gonna get after you next turn, Comfy. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. Glacier's gonna go for a Hailstorm. How much damage are we gonna do to this thing? I think it eat. This thing's an absolute tank. Look at that thing. I think it eats. We weren't minus one. That would have been easy KO. Shadow Bow's gonna come out here. That's fine. We'll doing some damage. I believe a Hailstorm will be able to take that out. Here comes another. Actually, ooh, that's scary, man. We're going to go over on Jelly. That's fine. I get out Ferrothorn here. And where do I get out? Uh, I don't I have Blaziken in the back? Did I bring Blaziken in the back end? There goes that Light Orb. Buff is coming out. Next turn, he's going to die. I could just. I, I might just protect next turn. Actually, no. I have another turn. Oh, we only have Ferrothorn left. We only have Ferrothorn left. I mean, did I, I, th I didn't think I won this Pokemon yet. This one can be very, very close. Not even gonna lie. This Buffett's gonna take out Gudra. I could double protect. Yeah, I'll probably just protect Pharaoh. Or I could Iron Defense. I think I protect Pharaoh in this turn. I mean, I'm minus two. But I still want to get after this. Uh... No, he's gonna heal him up. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure this thing goes down. Actually, let's do this. If he heals him up, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna iron defense our boosting. Now we have special attacker, so I'm gonna leech seed over on the coffee slot. I'm gonna leech seed and then I'm gonna hail some over on here. Just in case a floral healing does come out here. Cause I can totally see a floral healing popper. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna withdraw you, yo, dude. This dude's nuts. He's gonna go into his other Pokemon. Okay. It's gonna be Grimstar. Okay, I'm actually fine by that. I thought maybe a Floral Healing was popping here. Let's see what this thing does. He's gonna protect you. Okay, that's a, that's a fine turn. I should've Iron Defense. Should've Iron Defense. HC coming out. Block. Dang, dude. We need somebody to proc our policy. This is our one way back in this game. It's somebody procking our policy. He has all four. He's still just swapping out. He's doing work. I don't... I, do I have an Iron move here? No, I only have... I have no Seal move. Which kind of stinks. Which kind of stinks, man. Our steel move will be popping right now. Yeah, my leftovers kind of neglect that uh, buff of damage. Dang, dude, those two max worm wins were huge. They were really big for him. Good iron defense. I think I just, I think I just start seeding somebody. I really want you out of here. I really want you out of here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to seed up on this uh, Grimstar slot. I'm gonna go for Ice Icicle Spear over on the coffee, but I don't know if it's gonna take out. I need somebody to proc my policy, please. Here comes the Floral Healing. That's fine. Heal him up. That's why I need you out of here. I'm gonna Leech Seed on him. I'm gonna see what this thing's gonna do. He's just gonna start lowering my stats. He's gonna set up Reflex and all that. Jeez, dude, this dude's setting up for long game. This dude's setting up. I'm gonna start seeding. I'm gonna start seeding on you. Gimme. Give Gimme, give please. So he has other special attackers, so I don't know if Iron Defense is really going to be too big. Here goes Icicle Spear. Doing a little bit of damage. Just pesting around. Wish we had Icicle Crash. That's why I thought it was until it started shooting out. But you know what, dude? It works. Keep going. Keep going. Get one more. Get Hit all five, baby. Hit all five. Get another one. All right, four works. Four works. That reflects helping him out so much. But Buffet damage popping around. I don't really mind the Buffet damage, considering we have the leftovers. It does more work for us. I need my plus. Like, I need my stats boosted again. I'm minus two on attack. Give me my, give me my health, please. Take that. Um, I can totally see Comfy maybe protecting. Trick room is over. Uh, I am gonna boost my defense just so I can actually do higher body presses. And I could go for high horsepower. I'd rather just keep stab damage on. I mean, I'm gonna try to pose a threat on you. Let's see what he does. See what he does. What are you gonna do? I'll play this one slow. If I can get boosted on the defensive board, there's a chance we can win this battle. We just have leech seeds and leftovers just going around. Maybe Firethorn could be the clutch man. But this dude just has like a slow kind of rolling out team. He's gonna set up maybe a late screen this turn, which I'm fine with. Again, I'm just gonna keep boosting my defense. Go up plus two. He's gonna withdraw the gum snarl. Does that does that remove my seeds? Does that remove my seeds? And he just kills his Agudra. Uh, Unless, uh, what's called goes out. Oh, he floral heals it. This dude, this dude knows. This dude knows. He knows what's up. I'm boosting my defense. Buttery biscuit, man. 
I still whisper. Can you take out this compi, please? Hit four or five times to take this thing out. Come on. I think we only need four. Hit again. One more. Get it out of here. Yes. Thank you. Get this dude out of here. We're gonna boost our defense. Is that thing seeded? Can you swap out seeds? I think you can. I don't think we're seeded anymore. Chilling Nate. Oh. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. He loves it. Chilling Nate coming back. Here goes our iron defense. I can protect this turn. I can't protect this turn. He's gonna bring out probably Gastro. And try to... I do not have a grass move, which is scary. Hail stops. Hmm. They both outspeed me. And I wonder who he's going to go into. Probably going to go back out in the Grim Snarl. Yeah, it, no, this is... Okay, so Gastro comes out. I can see Gastro recovering or protect. I'm going to pose a body threat on this thing, or a body press. I'm just going to double attack up now. We lost our seeds. I love my seeds, though. I, th I think what's called can take out this Gudra if we get off an Icicle Spear. We are minus one. And only Gudra's outspeeding. I think only Gudra's outspeeding. So let's, let's see what you do. We're posing a threat on both sides right now. Breaking Swipe comes out. Oh, that's going to lower attack, isn't it? Good thing we're based off of defense here. Right, that lowers attack, right? Yeah. Good thing Ferris runs based off of defense. That was a smart breaking swipe. Iron Barber's popping. Doing some damage on him. He loves it. Defense boost it. Here goes a yawn. Hey, yo, chill on me. Chill on me. We should be able to pick up the double KO, I'm thinking. And pretty, pretty much finish off this game. Here's a spear, right? Got hit three times. Two is guaranteed. Got hit one more. Or there we go. We get a crit there. You love it. We love to see it, baby. You're gone. We're based off defense. Yo, we got this one. We got this one. Yo, you guys remember at the end? You guys remember at the end when I was picking teams? I was like, I should go in the toke kiss. Nah, I trusted my gut. I trusted my gut. We brought Ferrothorn over here and he clutching it up. He is clutching it up with the leech seeds, all that good stuff. He's the man. Iron Barb's doing work. There's just no stopping him. There's no stopping him. That's GG. That is GG. Ferrothorn. What is, what is Ferrothorn? He's an iron disc with thorns on him. Something like that. But yeah, dude, this dude's this dude's gonna end up quitting. Gonna body press up on him. Or do I play it smart? Nah, yo, we chillin'. We're plus two on defense. He's a physical attacker. Let's just start throwing some icicle spears at him. Go ahead, cancel the battle. Don't waste your time. There you go. 2-0, and oh, baby. We're gonna hop into our third and final battle and look for that perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we're looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gamer Community, baby. We're looking for it for you guys. This guy has a Cantonian Articuno team alongside with my shout, Absol, Ente, Regilecki, and... What is that thing? Milotic. Milotic. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. He's definitely going to lead potential fake out with the Mashal. It's justified. Does anybody learn beat up on this team? It's justified. Absol. And they might learn beat up. Might. I'm not going to count it out. Um, kind of might lead Nehalega. Or do I take speed with the trigger? I don't do like the Blaziken in here. I feel like we lead Nehalega Blaziken. Blaziken just poses a mad threat to the Mashal, the Articuno. Uh, the Milotic I'm, I'm a little worried about, but at the same time, I feel like, uh, they bring in Togekiss, maybe Ferrothorn, be thriving. As long as that Entei goes. All right, we have the Body Press, we can Leech Seed, we can pester around. I think, I think, I think we're fine with Togekiss and Ferrothorn in the back end. I don't think we need a Trick Room. I don't think we need it. He has no, actually, he does have a Tailwind. But still, Nihilego just Meteor Beaming on that thing? Bruh. There's Meteor Beaming on the Articuno. That's his Tailwind Pokemon. Well, the only one that can set, a t set up a Tailwind. Let's see if he leads it. That'd be huge if I can just get out, set off a Meteor Beam. Get the plus one. Basically plus two if I KO the, uh, the Articuno. Plus his Sash. He's going to go Entei and Regilecki. Okay, that's totally fine by me. I'm cool with it. I, mean, I think I just Dynamaxed uh, what's called all day. I think I Dynamax Blaziken. I think I just get Dynamaxing. Drop a Max Knuckle. Start boosting my attack. And then we just go into a Meteor Beam over on the Entei, take him out. Kind of kind of just like first battle. See if we can take this thing out and we roll from here. Get a plus one on the attack board. I'm with it. I'm so with it. We're playing good right now. I really do like this team. My, the first Blaziken team that I used, I was like iffy about Blaziken. I was like, uh, I don't know. But I guess it was just like the team or the Pokemon that I had around it. Like this team is rocking. This team is really rocking. I really do like it. It gels nice with how I play. But I'm absolutely loving the Hilego too with the Meteor Beam. Well, show me that Sente. Show me your Dynamax Sente. I, I have a feeling we can Dynamax this or kill it in one shot with this Meteor Beam. 
Show me a Tentei, though. Yo, if we dump on this thing in one turn, that'd be fire, dude. Let's do it. I feel like this dude would just turn off his, his switch. He'd just make, boop, hit the little button or hit the home button, XA. Close out of software. That sure web's gonna slow us down. That's fair. Oh, jeez, dude. That's doing, that did a lot of damage. More than I thought it would. This thing's gotta be choice. It's gonna slow us down. Um, okay. Who's gonna go first? You're gonna go first. And he's gonna go for a steel spike. And the like goes dead. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna go back to normal. I can airstream next turn if I really want to. But he's gonna be choice into a, uh... He is gonna be choice into a... Electro, right? That's gotta be choice spec, that, that amount of damage right there. Here goes my knuckle. Can we KO? I don't think we're KOing, but still get some stab damage off on that thing. Yeah, we don't KO, but now we're plus one. We're sitting plus one. Um, I think I might guard this turn. I'm thinking of guarding this turn. And just getting rid of that Regilecki and then get my speed back to normal. That might be a play. I think that's a play. This thing has steel spike, though. Which I do not like one bit, which I can definitely see coming out again. I would love the flare, but I cannot. What would what would be better? Uncle boosting or just going straight? I say we go straight airstream. Uh yeah, I think we have to go for Daz and Loom. Take out Regilecki. This one's ah, this one might be a tough battle for us. Regilecki's gonna use Electro Web. What combat is gonna neglect some of that damage? Slow us down. He's doing a lot of damage. That thing's doing a lot of damage. That's definitely, it's definitely spec. It's being dropping again. And Tay's gonna go. Is he gonna go for a steel spike? Yeah. Nope, my boy's getting nope. Tokus is definitely dead. Oh man, this one's so tough for us. This one is so tough. I don't think we got this one. This thing's just gonna double my Pharaoh. He's gonna double my Pharaoh. Man, we're getting steamrolled in battle number three. I want that perfect record. At least the first two battles were really, really nice. Here's my airstream. Doing like nothing. It's not stab. But I want that speed boost. This dude just swept us. This dude's gonna sweep us hard. Right, Thorn's gonna come out here. I don't think we can do a lot here. I don't think we can do anything. Man, dude. Man, he Dynamaxes Ente. That was, that was a good play. That was a good play. I really wanted my Neho Lego to go first. I feel like Neho Lego would have outsped him if Electro Web didn't pop out. So that was smart by him to actually drop that and just drop another Max Knuckle. And then protect. He's definitely gonna go for the flare. Maybe we can eat up. Start getting speed boost, rolling out, taking out Regilecki. E, dude, this one's gonna be close. Good happens here. Protect coming out here. He's Electro Weapon again. And I think we might be able to outspeed Entei after this. Maybe Ferrothorn can clutch all this up. Oh, this thing is not choice. He was not choice all along. Okay. He was just making really good plays. Knuckle coming out here. Knuckle's gonna take that thing out. We're gonna go plus two on the board. Hopefully he flares over onto my Ferrothorn and we survive, and then our speeds boost it, and potentially we Blaze King could just come out here and sweep some things. That's a potential. So what are we plus? Are we plus two on speed? We might be. We might be going plus two. Here comes the fire. Eat this up, Pharaoh. I need you to eat it, buddy. Yes. Big old protect coming out here. Uh. All right. So Ente needs to go. Ente does need to go. But I think I had to close combat drop. They got Ente. Let's see where that see where that leads me. See where that leads me. So who's his next Pokemon? There's a potential. There, there's still a chance here. I was gonna quit the battle, but I was just like, let me play it out and see what happens. It really depends who we brought. I don't think anyone's outspeeding Blaziken right now, but the Entei's just posing that huge threat on me. Which I don't like. Absol's gonna pop. Okay. Okay. Do I leech seed the Absol? I'm thinking of dumping on Entei, telling him to go home, and just seeding up on this Absol. But do we think a Flare Blitz can take out? But then recoil damage will kill me. Uh, we gotta go for the close combat. Once I wanna go into Absol, Entei's gotta go. I'm seeding. I could body press. I could totally body press. I think I have to seed here. I think I need some HP. Absol might protect though. Let's see what happens here. I'm just gonna go for Sucker Punch. You can biscuit it. E, 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 E. I love you. I love you. Blaze can outspeed. Close combat coming out here. That doesn't KO, man. That doesn't KO. That was plus two stab. I was plus two stab and I think eight. Oh, he was plus two on defense. He was plus two on defense. Oh my lord. No. I would have protected this turn and just uh, try to pester down. 
But I think we still would have lost this one regardless. Sacred Fire comes out here. That's game. That is a game. Dang it, dude. Dang it. I totally forgot about the plus two on the defensive board. That was huge. I'm just trying to think. I don't, I don't think we would have won that one. Because then he would have sucker punched. We maybe could have stalled out with Ferrothorn, depending on his third and final mod. But I really don't think so. But we're going to run. Blaziken's only at one HP. We'll save his poor soul from dying. And we're going to go two and one for this video. Have some good battles. And then the final one that God just outplays us. I'm a big fan of this team right here. The Blaze can absolutely rock out. Same thing with that Nihil Lego. I absolutely love it. And the Ferrothorn. Definitely my favorite three Pokemon on this team. And then the other side was more so just like the Trick Room side. A lot of the things you guys seen before. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.